here this weekend in New York. It was an exciting sports weekend. The best players in the NBA put on a spectacular show. Joining us for a wrap-up of the All-Star Weekend is Brandon Robinson. He is a sports writer at The Source magazine. Hey, Brandon, sorry you're not here, but it's good to see you. I missed you. It's too cold outside. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Let me just ask you this, first of all. How did you enjoy the game? I read a lot today about people sort of being disappointed by the game itself. I mean, I enjoyed the game. I mean, for most All-Star games, Debbie, there's no defense. Um, they should just call it defense because the All-Star game is the <laughs> showcase of, you know, guys in the East and the West that are, are showcasing their talent. But, um Really, the star of the game really was Russell Westbrook of the OKC Thunder. And, I mean, on the Eastern Conference side, LeBron James uh, scored 30 points in the game. But, unfortunately, they did lose, and Russell Westbrook was named the MVP. Yeah, indeed. And speaking of LeBron James, you know, this is his first All-Star game that he's played as a member of the Cavaliers since back in 2010. Talk about how his game has evolved. Well, LeBron is a lot slimmer now. He, he dropped about 30 to 40 points in the offseason. And, you know, he's getting older. He's 30 years old, turned 30 in December. And um, his game is, is still speed and power, but it's a lot more lighter, you know, so he, he's able to glide. And I think that LeBron is for preparing for the long haul. You saw a lot of guys follow trends with losing weight so that they could, you know, be a, a, around for 30 and beyond. And Different player, different mental mindset, and uh, he wanted to see some of the younger guys kind of flourish. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, the, the, the game was hosted by the Nets and the Knicks right here in New York, but Carmelo Anthony was the only New Yorker that was represented. How on earth did that happen? Um, Carmelo Anthony is, is a shooting juggernaut. Um, I, I think that Carmelo definitely represented New York City well as the lone member of both the Knicks and the Nets um, in New York City. Um, and he's, he'll actually be most likely shutting it down for the rest of the season. But it, it was a good showing for uh, Carmelo, who has been having ling lingering injuries throughout the season. Talked to him on Friday night. He said he's doing well, but he's got to rest and, and prepare for the long haul. Just signed a huge contract in the offseason. The Knicks are looking to prepare for the future. Yeah, a lot of talk about that here in New York City particularly. It seemed to be almost as many members of the press as there were spectators. 1,800 members of the media, and some of them attended through crowd crowdfunding. How did that work? Um, actually, I have a, a buddy of mine who actually crowdfunded. She's out in, uh, from, from Texas, and she raised some money to get out there. I did that last year um, to go to New Orleans, but it's cool to see that trend. You know, a lot of young journalists trying to find their way, trying to be the next Debbie Turner Bell. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I think that, you know, it, it was a good way for some journalists. There were a lot of international journalists that were there. I met some people from Panama. I um, met some people from Dallas and some other cities. Um, and they used that opportunity to really just have fun and, and be credentialed. But, you know, they had to find their own way because their publication did not uh, pay for them to go. And it's a good thing. It is a good thing. Well, hit some of the highlights from your point of view. Well, to quote the rapper Drake, Steph Curry of the Golden State Warriors was definitely Chef Curry with the pot boy. He won the three-point <laughs> shootout. <laughs> three shootout contest on uh, Saturday, the All-Star Saturday night. The Minnesota Timberwolves, uh, Zach Levine, uh, won the slam dunk contest. Kind of took us back, behind the back, slam dunk like Vince Carter back in the early 2000s. And like I said before, Russell Westbrook was named the uh, NBA All-Star Game Western Conference MVP. He was the MVP, uh, propelling them to a win. And I must not forget also uh, Chris Bosh in the Miami Heat and NBA mm -hmm. legend Dominique Wilkins won the Skills Challenge on Saturday. Yeah. And I and I would I would be remiss if I didn't mention that also Kevin Hart was the MVP of the of the of the celebrity game on Friday night and told the world it was a uh, big that, weekend. <laughs> I gotta let you go, dude. I had I could cut you off better if you're sitting here next to me. But thanks for <laughs> skyping in. Good, to, good see to see you. All right, take care. That's All gonna right. do it for us today. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.